Hey, um, yeah, I wanted to make an update video because I haven't done that in a while, and I have some awesome updates, um, and I want to be kind of concise, so I did write some stuff down, um, but yeah, I'm really tired, so I'm sorry if I'm not all that, uh, enthusiastic, but, um, yeah, yeah, I'm really scared right now. Then be like, what are you doing? Whoa. So yeah, um, updates. Um, I found a gender therapist, which I think I already said. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he was asking for my mom. Okay. Well, I have a therapy appointment. Um, she did email me back, and it's for the second or the third so that's really cool um like i said i know a couple guys have gone to her for uh, gender related things and one guy got his letter from her so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna see if i can't get my tea letter um, yeah that should be cool um also another big concern of mine was with like the prospect of starting tea pretty soon um was my living arrangement. Um, my dad is a beast and he, I'm pretty sure that if I ever start tea, um, I would probably become homeless because my dad would totally kick me out. So I did find a place to live. I'm moving in over spring break. Um, he's with an old work buddy of mine and yeah, I'm going to be his roommate with his other roommate. It's a pretty cool house. It's a really artsy house in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, and he's an art student. And so, yeah, we've piled around before. And, yeah, it should be really cool. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that. And it's, like, the best rent, like, the lowest rent I could possibly find. So, like, it's such, it's so awesome. It's 150 a month. That's amazing. Like, I can't find anything under 400 in apartments, so this should be really good for 150 a month plus utilities. But, um, yeah, that's really good. Um, also, I said I would update you all on the, um, stealth at school kind of thing. Um, there was that girl, like I said, who read me as mail and um, I had been stealth with her and she um, just thought I was a gay guy um read me as that anyway and I don't like after a while I think she got like she got really suspicious um and she uses both pronouns uh, with me, which is weird, like, I haven't told her anything, but she, like, flips between them, um, so that's kind of weird, but, and then I met this other girl who, um, okay, here's a story, she, um, she's pretty cool, um, she, what happened was she, I was drawing <laughs> during class, and I was supposed to be doing math, I was supposed to be doing math and I was drawing, but, um, yeah, she saw it and she's like, wow, I heard you liked art and all that, and like, that's really good and stuff, and I was like, oh, thanks, you know, and she's like, do you have, um, an account on DeviantArt, and I was like, yeah, I do, I don't really use it that much, but I do, she's like, okay, I'm gonna stalk you, so I gave her that, and, um, I also gave her my Facebook thing. And I typically don't talk about trans things on my Facebook. Oh, and she also had a Tumblr, so I gave her my Tumblr. Um, we exchanged all that. And, you know, all my accounts say, you know, mail. And she's like, so that's why. Um, like, and so now she, like, uses male pronouns. She doesn't know I'm trans. And I've been, like, her, like, we've been kind of friends at school. For like, how long? No. Like, basically, the second week of class, and I'm like halfway into the semester. So, 
Um, I don't know. I know. I know. I shouldn't feel like bad about not telling her I'm trans. Like, about not being upfront and honest. Not being like upfront and honest. Um, also because it's like kind of problematic. Cause we've gone out for like, like lunch or whatever after class, or I guess dinner, um, at Subway, and. I don't know, it's, it's problematic because I've heard her, like, she also reads me as a guy, and I have admitted that I, to her, that yeah, I like guys, so she thinks I'm like a gay guy, um, even though I'm really just a queer guy, queer trans guy. Um, but yeah. And then she, it was weird, because she started talking about transgender people, um, trans people, and... I don't know what subject we were on, we were talking about trans people or whatever. Um, I think I was mad at someone for something when we were talking about it and I was like this. She's like, oh, they can have a sex change and I don't know how it got there. And that kind of irked me. It's like there's no really such thing as a sex change, but whatever. I didn't say anything about it. She's like, I had this, I had this friend and she, you know, she turn into a boy and she's really hot. She's really hot. She um she's a really hot guy now. She's really hot. And I was like I had to bite my tongue. I didn't want to out myself because everyone like I've been outed everywhere else and I really just don't want to out myself there. And if I have an opportunity to go stealth right now, yeah, I'm gonna take it. But that was really hard. Um I really wanted to just say, you know, if he is a guy if he has taken hormones or even if he hasn't if he's you know if he said he was a trans guy or if he says he identifies as male uh he's a guy he shouldn't be using male pronouns uh, he shouldn't be using female pronouns but i didn't say anything and i feel bad about it but yeah um as far as updates pretty sure that's it um yeah, uh, have a nice day, and, um, yeah, bye.